I will first invite Ms. Abigail Zhao. Ms. Zhao is a fresh graduate from Hong Kong U in 2019, double majors in ecology and biodiversity and biological sciences. She's working as the chief technology officer in the startup Soon Lucian Technology Limited at the moment. She has rich research and working experiences in different fields of ecology, targeting organisms from marine, terrestrial, and aerial. She has worked in university labs, public education, agriculture industry, and startup, and studied mechanical engineering, finance, and programming after graduation. She has been enthusiastic in arts, music, and Chinese literature since childhood. Now, welcome, Abigail. Hello, hello everyone. And it's very happy to be invited to give a talk here. And, um, and thanks um, for introducing me. And it seems that uh, I have a lot of uh, so-called treatment, but because I'm young and there's two speakers, they are much more experienced than me. And I guess um, what they have achieved can be really regarded as uh, achievement. And for what I have achieved so far, you can just say that they are briefly a self-introduction about my hobbies and my interests and about a little bit of my working experience in university life. And uh, because I just graduated in um, 2019, that's uh, just like one and a half years ago. And uh, working uh, in the startup now is only my second job. My first job is working in the internet of HKU and it's a very interesting job. And my second job is working in the startup about agriculture equipment development. And uh, because my life is so short compared with uh, other speakers, and I can't really say my life has been productive because you, you might need some time to prove that you have been really achieve a lot and being productive and uh, have a lot of positive contribution to the society and for this moment i can't really say i have achieved that but uh, i would really wish my life can bring something good to the world and not just helping uh, my own career or not just uh, having the name and money and success on my own and i also wish to do something good for the society and help some other people uh, all together that we can make a better life. And if I can also help to solve the environmental and global warming problem of the earth a little bit, and it will be also be great. But I don't know how much I will I will achieve in my lifespan. I will I can only say I will try my best. But um, uh, it, my my personal goal of uh, productive life is not just for myself, but also for. Um, try my best to also for the society and for the others and maybe also for the environment. And actually, I think being, uh, say a productive life is a very hard to define what you mean by productive because uh, you can't really have a definition and it's also very hard to judge whether your life is productive or not being productive enough. And, but if you say, uh, I mean, before we can talk about whether life is being productive or not, uh, we should, I mean, uh, my personal view is that whether our life is meaningful enough. If you are having a meaningful life, what you are doing is meaningful and your personal value is, uh, is you can say, re relatively good and not just uh, maybe less selfish. And, and then what you are doing will be productive to yourself and to your family and also to the world. And uh, actually, uh, how to define being a meaningful life is also very hard because there's so many meaning and there's so many dreams and goals for different kinds of people. And I can only briefly introduce my point of view about uh, a meaningful and productive life because I'm a Christian from secondary school and my point of view of being a meaningful and productive life is that uh, I'm not just uh, working for fame and money and success for my life's by for like 80 years or 90 years on, on this earth. And because if I only do that, and they can't be, they can't last for forever or they can't last for too long, even within my lifespan. And what I wish to achieve is that uh, what I'm doing is 
it's good in the eyes of uh, from the eyes of God, and and if that if so, uh, what I'm doing now might have some um, values in uh, eternity, and that's what I wish to do. And but of course, I still need to work. I still need to um, help my company and help my staff to um, to make success in their career and make success for my company. But uh, they are not my ultimate goal in my life. Although I will also work my best, try my best. Uh, my ultimate goal is to have a uh, having what I'm doing now will have some eternal meaning in the eyes of God. And so. Yeah, but it's all it's only my point of view, and but I mean, if um, if people also share the similar view of me, then I think it will be quite happy to realize that what you are doing now is not simply, uh, I mean, the meaning of what you have achieved or what you have done now is not just limited to this life, but also uh, for more than this life, and yeah, that's all I I I want to share. Maybe I can share a little bit more during the. Session. Thank you. Thank you very much, Abigail. And uh, I really uh, appreciate Abigail's sharing on not only focus on personal goal, but also focus on goals that beyond person, maybe beyond our own flash life. That means we would like also to take into consideration our future generations when we try to commit our life to work to uh, leisure and also to creativity or productivity. Thank you, Abigail.